morning everyone i just got out of the shower hence the wet hair hence the robe and i'm on fall break i am living and loving life you guys have no idea i spent the last few days just really like cleaning and organizing the house and it feels so so good i did get a comment on my last video that i just uploaded it was my shein uh, plus size haul if you guys haven't seen that i will link that below um i got a comment saying they would like to see an updated what i eat in a day video slash like fitness routine as far as fitness goes i'm not going to film that quite yet however um i would like to do a what i eat in the day video which is what i'm doing today about five weeks ago i started in with my like fitness routine i've been working out pretty much daily except for weekends so like five days a week um, every single morning bright and early and I've been doing that like I said five weeks and then the first two weeks of me kind of starting that I was still eating kind of whatever I want wasn't really paying attention to what I put in my mouth and the last three weeks uh, I really have been paying attention so I am using my fitness pal once again I'm logging everything that I eat that may not work for some of you but for me I I lose track of what I eat. Like I'm just a grazer. I, when I'm bored, I eat. When I'm happy, I eat. When I'm sad, I eat. I'll go to the cabinet, grab a snack and I'm eating it. I'm like, when did I even grab this snack? Like, I swear it's the craziest thing. So unless um, I like log it, I lose track. Sometimes I'll even like eat breakfast and then I'll tell myself, oh, I'll log it later. And then lunch comes around and I'm like, what did I have for breakfast again? And I'm logging it and I'm like, oh, whoa. Like I had, <laughs> more calories than I thought for breakfast if I would have had that already logged then I could adjust lunch accordingly so I feel like for me logging is super important to stay on track so I've been doing that for three weeks and I feel so good so I have some new recipes that I'm very excited for one of which is breakfast I feel like with breakfasts I eat the same thing almost I, I pick about two or three things and I kind of rotate them um, and there's one in particular, you guys, best thing I've ever had in my life. And I am not kidding. I already have my mom onto it. I have her boyfriend onto it. Like it's so good and it's not my recipe. I got it from TikTok. So it's not me. It's that girl from TikTok. It is just so delicious. So we will get into that here shortly. But for now, I just want to let you know kind of how my morning went. I got up. I worked out, I took a shower, and then I made myself a nice cup of coffee. Um, we got a Nespresso machine the other day, so I'm still kind of learning how to use it, but so far I'm obsessed with it and I'm loving it. Um, I was definitely a huge Keurig fan, like for the past five or six years. I have a Keurig at home, I have one in my classroom, like I just love a good Keurig, but I thought it was time to upgrade a little bit. So we got the Nespresso. It came with a little starter pack of pods. Some are like espresso shots. Some are like a full like coffee, like it'll fill the mug. And then some are like the super tall, like I think 14 ounce portions. Um, and so I just brewed myself like a normal size cup of coffee. We actually just ordered some new ones on their site this morning. So those should be here in a couple of days, but I made myself just a regular cup of coffee and I put only one tablespoon of creamer in it. I use sugar-free creamer because it's lower in calories and that's typically how I have my coffee. So I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to do my makeup and I will catch you guys when it's breakfast time. Breakfast is served. It looks so good. It smells so good. I'm ready to eat. But before I eat, I did want to kind of run you guys through what I did. So I made two pieces of turkey bacon. This is the Genio brand. I love this brand. This is the brand I always get. And each slice of bacon is 30 calories. So I made two of those and I just do them in the microwave. Don't ask me why half of it is limp and the other half is burnt. Never happened before, ever. But of course the one time I wanna film a what I eat in a day, it happens, but it'll still be good. Then I took a slice of sourdough. This is the cracked wheat sourdough from Trader Joe's. It's 110 calories per slice and I toasted that. It came out a little bit burnt because I have to toast one side and flip it and toast the other and there was a little bit of overlap so ignore that. Um, then I smush half of an avocado onto the toast. I squeeze a little bit of lemon juice onto the toast 
And then we use this part skim ricotta cheese. I also got this from Trader Joe's. Um, a fourth of a cup is 70 calories, but I typically use half of that. So I'll use an eighth of a cup. So it's 35 calories. And this is seriously what makes it so good. Um, along with the next item, which is basil. I got this from Trader Joe's as well. So I'll cut up some basil leaves. I kind of go overboard on the basil also, just because I love basil. Um, you sprinkle that on top with a little bit more lemon juice, some olive oil. That is optional, but it makes the meal, let me tell you. Um, a little bit of salt, and then you sprinkle some lemon zest on the top, and you are good to go. You guys, best thing I've ever tasted in my life. Ever. All right, you guys, it is lunchtime. It's actually past lunchtime. It's 2.45, so I'm gonna be making a late lunch. Time just got away from me. Uh, I was working and I just wasn't really that hungry. Like that breakfast like truly filled me up. So um, I was thinking I was going to make two chicken wraps. I've been making these chicken wraps every single day for lunch. They are so so bomb. I just got back from the store actually and I got some soup and I'm not really a soup person but for some reason it just sounded so good to me. So I picked up this light progresso um, beef pot roast. It's 150 calories for the entire can and this is a big can. I also picked up the light clam chowder and the light creamy potato with bacon and cheese. So all of these sounded so delicious. So I think I'm gonna make a can of soup and make one chicken wrap. Um, I'm not sure which can yet, but um, I will show you guys how I make my chicken wraps and then I will go ahead and heat up one of these cans. So for the chicken wraps, you'll just need flour tortillas. I love these carb balance ones. They taste exactly like regular flour tortillas, except these are 70 calories for one tortilla instead of like 130. So they're like half the calories. And then the best chicken in the world. It's so good and it's so easy from Costco. Let me show you. This is the Tyson blackened chicken and they're chicken breast strips, but they're seasoned. They're a teeny bit spicy and they are bomb. So days when I am in a hurry or I'm being lazy, which is most of the time, these are super easy to take out of the freezer, put them in the microwave for a couple minutes and then pop them into the wrap. So you get three ounces of this and it's 110 calories. Since I'm only doing one wrap, I'll probably do one and a half ounces of chicken, uh, which is half the serving size. So we have the tortilla, we have the chicken, and then I put lettuce and the best barbecue sauce ever. Barbecue sauce I did not realize until like, I don't know, maybe six months ago is super caloric like there are a lot of calories and i am a sauce person like you would not believe so i've been using this g hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce and i have tried a sugar-free barbecue sauce before and it tasted not so good this one is delicious it's still thick it's not super watery and it's only 10 calories for two tablespoons so here is the nutrition label if you guys want to see it um, even with like these yogurt ranches that I love, these yogurt dressings, I should say, um, they're 45 calories for two tablespoons. So fraction of the cows for this, and it is delicious. So sometimes I do put shredded cheese as well, but since I'm having an entire can of soup with this, I don't feel the need to waste calories on cheese, especially when you see what we're having for dinner. Once again, it's a TikTok recipe. You guys will see it in a bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this chicken wrap together and I'll catch you guys when I'm done. Okay you guys, so I heated up the chicken separately. Uh, I did a minute and a half for this amount and then I put the chicken in the tortilla and put it in for another 20 seconds just to get the tortilla um, nice and hot. And then I'm just going to add some lettuce. And I like to rip mine up a little bit just so it's not giant pieces of lettuce. And then on top of that is where I will put some barbecue sauce. So I'm pretty good about knowing like how many tablespoons something is. So I don't measure this, but I mean, I do recommend it if you're not so good at just kind of guesstimating. Okay, so this is what that looks like. So freaking delicious. And like I said, usually I'll 
do two of these and put shredded cheese. But for today, since I'm making soup, I think one will do. This is going to be a pretty good sized lunch, so I know I'll be stuffed. All right, you guys, so I have my Hydro Flask. I'm having water, which I've already downed one of these. I have my soup, which I now realize is only 150 calories because I feel like there's a, mm, I mean, there's a good amount of stuff in it, I guess, but it's not like crazy stuffed. And then my wrap. You guys, can't even stress it enough how good this is. They also have tortillas that I love also. They're out in my other fridge. Um, extreme wellness or extreme fitness tortillas and they're only 50 calories instead of 70 so if you are really trying to cut cows that's the way to do it so i was having a little sweet tooth so i had one of these trader joe's chewy chunky oatmeal raisin cookies they are oh man hang on 120 calories per cookie so i just had one of those i was just like i said having a little sweet tooth i feel like those are good but i recently got some vegan ones from trader joe's and it was like chocolate chip oatmeal or something like that bomb 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 so i highly suggest getting the vegan ones those ones are just eh, okay they satisfied my sweet tooth so um i will check in with you guys once it's dinner time <sighs> Okay, you guys, so I just washed my hands. I took my ring off just so I don't get chicken juice in it. And I got my casserole dish out of the cupboard. And I'm going to spray the bottom with some sort of like olive oil spray. For some reason, I feel like this Target Good and Gather brand is like crazy cheap. Like way cheaper than anywhere else I've seen it. I don't know why. So I just put some of that down. Oof, that made me like not be able to breathe. And then I got from Walmart just some chicken breasts. I'm gonna be doing, I think four of them. I'm probably just gonna have one chicken breast tonight. Yeah, I'm definitely just gonna have one chicken breast tonight, but I'm making four. Carlos might want two and then I'll leave an extra one for like tomorrow or something. I might even make more, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see where this, uh, this night takes us. So I'm gonna tilt you guys down so you can see what I'm doing. So I didn't even actually tell you what I'm making. It's pepperoni pizza chicken. So I'm pretty much gonna take the breast, slice it, stuff each little slice with um, some marinara sauce, cheese, and pepperoni. For mine, I'm going to use turkey pepperoni, and then you bake it at 350 for 25 minutes. So let me actually start the oven. 350 start okay so now i'm gonna tilt you down and we're gonna get started okay so we have our chicken and i'm going to start slicing so you pretty much just start from one end and you slice but not all the way down to the bottom you don't want to make them into like chunks you just want to kind of fillet them open every so often So it should look something like this. And I'm just going to lay that in. Oops, that last little chunk did come off all the way, my bad. So I'm gonna be a little more careful. So this is what it should look like after you cut them all up. I'm going to spray it again with the olive oil spray and put salt and pepper here to like season the actual chicken and then we'll get to stuffing. So I'm gonna do salt, pepper, whoops, that was kind of a lot. I'm also going to do garlic salt and oregano. So this is the uh, marinara or pasta sauce that I use for Pretty much everything. I absolutely love this brand and I love the Arabiata because it's just a little bit spicy. You'll need just some shredded mozzarella cheese. You can go with light or reduced fat, reduced calorie, whatever you want, but this is what I have on hand. I will be using turkey pepperoni for mine just because it's lower calories. And then Carlos likes just regular pepperoni. I mean, <laughs> who doesn't? 
And then the recipe also calls for pepperoncinis. So we'll be using these as well. They get stuffed with the rest of the ingredients. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of each of this stuff out on the board because I don't want to reach my raw chicken hands back in the bag. So I'm going to take out some, I don't know how much I'm going to need, but turkey pepperoni. So we'll put a bunch out. There's not that much sauce left in here, so I'm just going to keep it in the jar and just pour it in. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in each little fold. Okay, I ran out of pasta sauce, so this is all that I have left in the cabinet, so I'm gonna do the rest with this one. So this is what it all looks like. I'm gonna to top it with a little bit more oregano, just for a little extra flavor. Hopefully it comes out all right. You're supposed to bake it for 25 minutes um, at 350. And this is what it looks like fresh out of the oven. It was a lot more like watery than I thought it was going to be, but it looks delicious. I'm not exactly sure off the top of my head how many calories one of these would be, but for the pepperoni, or the turkey pepperoni one, I will calculate it and put it up on screen. Just approximate. I mean, if I'm off a little bit, hey, that's fine, but they look delicious. I think I'm gonna heat up some mixed veggies as well and have a chicken breast with veggies. Okay, so this is what dinner is looking like. I took half of my pepperoni turkey chicken breast and then some mixed veggies, and then also a breadstick. These are like the cheesy garlic ones from Trader Joe's. I think it's like 120 calories per breadstick. So I'm excited. How is it? It's really good. The chicken's a little overcooked. My bad. But it's really good. I put it back in the oven because I thought it was undercooked. Nope. Well, I saw a little pinkness. No. So, okay. Well, it's good to know. So it's good, I'm going to try it. Can I have a maybe a fork? Yeah, for uh, pepperoncinis? Yeah. Really set it off. Really? Yeah. I thought you wouldn't like that part. No. Why do I like pepperoni? I don't know. Thanks. I like pepperoncinis. Yeah, I had no idea. I literally had it out of the oven and then put it right back in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is really good, but yeah, I see what you mean. My bad, so apparently the directions were right. <laughs> 25 minutes, 3.50. Oops. Is this the worst outro in the history of outros? Yes. I'm about to go to bed, I'm laying on the couch right now. Um, but I just wanted to do this quick little outro. I hope you guys enjoyed this day of eating with me. Um, I feel like it wasn't a typical day of eating though. Like, I need to do this again very soon. So you guys can see an actual, I feel like lunch was the only like normal thing that I eat all the time. And not even really, cause I don't really ever have soup, but I'm gonna do this again. I hope you guys enjoyed this anyway. I hope you guys got some ideas, got some inspiration. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.